All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. I am the Oracle here with another Zodiac sign reading for the sign of Gemini. All right, Gemini, we're going to start by pulling a, a message, and then we're going to use another deck to clarify. Before we jump into this, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, when you send me good energy, I send that good energy back. So let's jump into this, Gemini. Let's see what message wants to come out for you, okay? All right, message for Gemini, please. Message for Gemini. Message for Gemini. You could be worried about some kind of ending or even a sickness, Gemini. Okay, let's see. All right, we have the Five of Swords walking away from some kind of conflict. Um... Or maybe having to walk away after feeling defeated. Something you put work into. So you, okay, so you were stuck. This this has to do with work, okay. Um, so Gemini, there could be a situation where you're feeling defeated. You're. It's almost like you have to... Mm, Take it on the chin, you know, we take an L and walk off, you know, you were defeated in a situation, something that you worked hard on. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. You were, you worked hard, patient, uh, you were patient, you were hardworking. You thought, you thought you had the wisdom to make this succeed because you've, you've done this kind of work before, but you, I want to say. There could be a com some some conflict or arguments with the water sign, but um, this Four of Pentacles screams out to me like unmovable. You're not gonna change. This is stubborn and hard headed, un unwilling to move. Where over here you have to be flexible. <clears throat> Maybe the work is like kind of up and down. The type of work you do is up and down. So you have to learn how to go with the flow and you just didn't want to do that. You were stubborn and stuck in your ways, you know, very pinnacle, very earthy where you need to be more, you know, like water. Okay, so let's start looking at, let's let's start breaking this down. The devil at the bottom. Um, the five of swords, you're, you're feeling defeated, having to walk away from some kind of loss. What is this five of swords? Yeah, again, the, the page of pentacles. So whatever you you were investing in, there was there was some sneaky shit going on. There was some sneaky stuff going on. Someone it came when it came to your to your money situation. So it's like again with the eight of cups, somebody was trying to tell you, you know, it's, it's you gotta walk away from this devil this devil had something to do with what you were investing in whatever you were working on right something got yeah. wow okay so that's what the loss was refusing to walk away from that devil the devil has something to do with it caused a lot of conflict. The Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups? Okay, so somebody tried to speak, and this could have been, you know, happened online, and it could have happened, this communication could have been towards some kind of institution, some, you know, some kind of authority figure. The truth that was spoken was intended to bring balance to the situation, but this person that spoke the truth was meted, uh, was meted, <laughs> was greeted with, uh, or was thanked with cruelty and, you know, hot-headed egos because they weren't seeing things clearly. This boss, you know, they weren't seeing things clearly, so they rejected whatever offer or of advice this person was speaking you know it was a gift somebody was who who did this type of work it's like hey you know maybe um it's 
maybe it would be wise to have the best possible outcome to move away from this. Take your time, reflect, um, get some, gain some clarity because whatever you're investing in isn't gonna isn't gonna work. It's gonna end with defeat. And this person's like, "Fuck you, fuck your advice. You ain't shit, nobody." <laughs> That's what this person did. I know better. I know what what works. You do not. So this person's like, "All right." So what's this Knight of Pentacles? This could be whatever you've been working on or whatever this person, whatever advice this person offered you. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, let me help you transform um, what you're building into. Yeah, don't, let me help you so you're not juggling. Let, let's illuminate the sneaky shit to have the best possible outcome. Because this person, they, they care about the financial end of things. So, yeah. Okay. So this Four of Pentacles talks about being stubborn, not willing. Okay, so this person's like, let me help you. Um, it was a message. It was a gift to make whatever it is that you guys were investing in stronger, more stable. So, again, you're like, no. I know what's best in this partnership and that tower hit and now you're worried man you you could feel kind of foolish because you were just like yeah I know what's best you didn't see that there was deception damn <sighs> okay so again stubborn unwilling to to see things from a different perspective right so let's look at this. This is where you're saying, I know what's best. I know how to make this work. I'm the one with the wisdom. Okay, so let's. Yeah, you you're very confident that you know how to how to invest, where to invest. that arrogance that you know i'm not saying that that confidence isn't deserved well deserved that you know because you could have had a lot of success but i'm getting um you weren't seeing there was some confusion that you weren't seeing these burdens these obstacles that would arise from this devil being um I'm, I'm seeing I'm, again I want to say getting the I'm getting the devil kind of like a virus infecting something right unseen like unforeseen conflicts there was some confusion that was going to create a lot of burdens when making this investment it was going to create burdens <clears throat> in what you were growing there was a need to walk away from this devil right but you thought you had the clarity you were so confident that you knew what you were doing i have the wisdom i know how to make this grow But you told this star queen of pentacles this this one was the one who was probably trying to bring you that message right <coughs> <coughs> anything else you thought this person you don't know how to create abundance you don't know shit So you decided like, I don't have to give nothing. I don't have to give anything to this person. I don't have to give anything to this person because I know what's best. What's this eight of pentacles? All right, Gemini. 
whatever you were trying to bring into fruition, whatever you were trying to grow, um, maybe you haven't been able to. Because whatever this empress communicated, like it's like you completely blocked out whatever they said. You moved away from the, their advice, which would have brought the best possible outcome for you. And now you're feeling defeated because you wanted to be the one who gave again. I'm getting this, this like I give to others. They don't give to me like you see giving as a, a sign of power. What's the ten of? So whatever obstacles, whatever burdens you have going on, this is judgment on you because of what you've done. Like how how cruel you were. You were very smug, thinking, "Oh, I'm you know, I know what's best. I have the power. I have the money, and this other person is a nobody, and I can ruin their life." and make them poor and I can just watch them suffer as they try to defend themselves they try to make it because they didn't want to take my advice so whatever you're having to juggle now is 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 just karma for you buddy damn Gemini that is Whatever you're dealing with, it's just, it's, it's karma because of your arrogance, you know, if you think you're above it all and even really the way, the, the way you're acting is like, you're acting like you're even above God and God's going to humble your ass if you, you know, don't give thanks for everything that God has done for you. Because if God's blessed you, God wants you to bless others. If you um, refuse to give to others the, or share the blessings that God has blessed you with, <clears throat> God giveth and God taketh away. Yeah, God giveth and God taketh away. There's going to be a lot of people feeling defeated and unhappy with um, how life ends up because you yeah, have the will of fortune in reverse. Because when they were stable and they were uh, able to give, they didn't. They didn't want to give. They were just like, fuck, fuck them poor people, you know. <laughs> I had to work my way up, so they need to work their way up. So you were unwilling to help them come out of any kind of struggle when that is what god wanted you to do you took you 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 took advantage of your position of power you took advantage of your position um you you abused your authority <clears throat> by abusing the fact that you had more money that is the shit that God's like, I blessed you with this so you can bless others, so you can help uplift others. And instead of that, you, you're just like, if I'm not making money off of you, I don't fuck with you. And if you are making money off of them, you give them the bare minimum and take the rest. And, and, and God's humbling you with the wheel of fortune for the abuse of your authority and your power. So Gemini, yeah. That is what I have for you, Gemini. Don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to schedule your own personals if you feel called to do so. If not, and this is where I leave you. Have a good one, Gemini.